We are trying to find vegan Filipino food and snacks and coffee and like all of that. Hey, my name is Ron. This is Finding Filipino Food with my buddy Edwin. And obviously he's vegan, looking like that. Well, who is it? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Finding Filipino Food. In this episode, we're taking it a bit further on, trying the best of the best whilst being animal friendly. I don't know if it exists. I don't, I don't know. I've never really, you know, consciously looked for vegan Filipino food here in London. We're going to try to find it so that he can eat his food. So we found this Filipino restaurant in Hackney called Rapsa. Do you remember what that is? Citrus fruit this morning. What was it called? Calamansi. Calamansi lemonade. All right, cheers, man. It's different, right? Like it has like sweeter notes. Yeah. yeah. I've never tried a Filipino food in my life. It's me and my Filipino uh, mafia. <laughs> a lot of rice in there. This is like a typical Filipino serving. I love it. I'm only coming with you to the restaurants, but I'm not gonna get the, the vegan food. I'm sorry. This is um, crispy liempo and lechon kawali. It's really good. That's really offensive. <laughs> Yo, something crazy just happened. Just when I just said, you know, I said that I was gonna I was not gonna eat vegan today. Like a bird just pooped all over the camera and I'm so glad I was holding the camera because it could have been on my food. Like the vegans are the vegans are angry now. Man. Yeah you got what you deserve. <laughs> and, you know, respect the animals man. Holy shit, look, it's still there. It's still kinda of there. Why are you so happy? What do you want about? We found donuts. Donuts. Vegan donuts. <laughs> Boom. That looks really good. Redemption. <laughs> so this is my buddy Hanok. He's visiting me from Amsterdam. Yeah, but he's also from Sweden. He wanted to try this really popular restaurant called Fallo. Yeah, it's not Filipino, but Henok really wanted to try this out. It was incredible. I think this is like one of the best restaurants right now in London. Very popular and we got lucky. We got seated right away. Hey, those are like blocks of potatoes. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is hot. I'm not confused that one. That's like a lot of cod. <laughs> All right, so this place is called Casa and Kin. Very, very popular Filipino place here in London. I've actually been here before. It's always so good. Me and Hanok came here for the drinks, but we got some barbecues, skewers. It's really good. It's made from Wagyu too. <laughs> Wagyu ribs, tapa. It like breaks off even before I bite it. Yeah, it's yeah. Not tender. Bad words. Beer. Beer. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Ube. No. Ube is um, purple yam. It's a root crop. <laughs> what is it? it do you know what it is? Yo, it's not even close. It's like wang wang. Wang wang, bro. It's good. Mm, yeah. Is it? Yeah. That shit fucks you up too, man. We also stumbled upon this reggae festival. That was really cool. It was free in the park. Yeah, and I'm always down for some jerk chicken, so I got excited about that. Hello. 
So this is Peter. He's one of my best friends in Stockholm. And of course, if it's family, where do you bring them? I'm excited. It's gonna be nice. What about you, Jen? Are you excited, Jen? Always, Always excited. Good job. Oh, look at that. What do you think? Don't lie. I like it. It's super great. Right. It's alright. You know, it's um. But it's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It's, it is sweet. You want to try the spicy one first? Sure. Let's destroy my mic. I can destroy your mouth later. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's on camera. <laughs> this is the gravy for it. Uh, Did you dip it? Yeah. It's fun. Go for it. You ready? Cheers. That's the like normal one. Yeah. How is it? Good. I like it. Yeah. Spicy one. Hey, don't do the spicy. Make my cup. I'm gonna cover the flavor. Good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this one is the classic flavor. Chocolate sundae, and this one is, I've never seen this one before. It's like mango with coconut. So, yeah, try that one. Let me know what you think. This one I'm gonna try because I've never really had this one. It's interesting. This is nice. Try this one. Yep, this tastes like my chocolate. What do you think of that one? Which one do you like more? I don't know, this one, this one is more fresh. Right. That one is more indulgent. Ooh, indulgent. Yeah, it's nice. Taste it! Try it! That's not the same. Yeah, but it's good. You like it? Yeah, this, I can... This was my favorite thing it from Jollibee when I was growing up. Alright, last but not the least, this is Jack, a really good friend of mine. He's also visiting me from Sweden. Me and Jack went to this place called Romulos. It's a beautiful place. Look how fancy. Menu already, you can tell it's gonna be a... You know your guaranteed quality straight away. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Yeah. Have you ever had Red Horse before? Uh, no, I definitely haven't had it. But it looks sick. <laughs> Cheers. Look, it's good. It's good? Mm. Really fucking good. Oh, which one is this? Wow, thank you. So, this one right here, it's called uh, kare kare. It's like curry curry. Kare kare. So it's like bone marrow curry. And instead of like a typical curry sauce, it's like made with peanut butter. You're not allergic to peanuts, right? No. So, and then it has like fish sauce or like fish paste. I don't know if you add that before, it's really salty. But it's very traditional. This one is an adobo. It looks kind of different because it looks like it's rotisserie chicken. But then the sauce, I think, they made it into like more of like a real sauce instead of like soupy sauce. And then they just poured it over the grilled chicken, which is... No, I'm excited. I don't know how it's gonna be, but it, it looks really, really good. How is it? It's actually really good. So the meat is super, super tender. Yeah, so you have to put a little bit of this. And this is what, sorry? That's the fish paste. Chunk here. Right. Salty, right? Wow. You like that? It's alright. It like elevates it. It's right? More, yeah. It's really, really good. Like that. Um, but that's why I didn't want you to put a lot. I can literally eat this rice. Right? It's so good. Yeah, it adds a lot of flavor yeah. to it. Was it good though? I, I loved it, but I mean, I have nothing to compare it to. So, like for your standard, like, is this a good dish or? So I was pleasantly surprised because what we got here, it looked really fancy, it looked like quality, right? It was like very, very nice touch with everything. But then it comes out, like the presentation is very nice. But then it's very traditionally made, like the flavors are the same to what you get in like Filipino kitchens, which I really like. You know, like I always talk about like flavors, sometimes they do a lot of um, hybrid, they do a lot of um, fusion. But this one is not. Like this is like what I get in the focus and it's incredible. So this is the adobo. It looks like um grilled chicken. It is grilled chicken with adobo sauce probably. I'm gonna take some of the sauce as well. It smells amazing. Boom. Yeah. 
What do you think? So nice. It's good. It's like it's kind of sweet. Yeah. But it's also really salty. But it's kind of like I don't know why, but it gives me like a like a kick of ginger with it as well. It does it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's their version. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's super nice. Have you ever had Filipino food before? I've never had Filipino food. This is, uh, this is actually my first time. So, uh, is this the first time? This is the first Ever time. in your life. How long have we been friends? We've been friends for about five years now. <laughs> this is the first time we're eating Filipino food. So I've been a terrible you're friend. A bad friend. Uh, you're a bad friend. No, you just like don't like other food. Nah, don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be on YouTube. Uh, uh, Jack uh, officially <laughs> doesn't try other people's food. What do you mean by other people? <laughs> Got him. <laughs>